Hi friends, AMD Vegan. I make a chia pudding today. I make it once in a while and it's chia time again. Chia is um, one of the um, sources for us for a very important fat. Now we need fat, we need protein, we need carbohydrates. These are the so-called macronutrients. That means everything we eat is made of three big parts. Macro means big. Big, that means as opposed to small, like vitamins, minerals, the micronutrients, the, the tiny nutrients. The big nutrients are very simple to understand. Only three, fat, carbohydrates, and protein. And um, of course we have to eat most carbohydrates. Yeah. <laughs> That's has every, uh, mostly all over the planet, mostly all people have always eaten mostly carbohydrates and only a little bit of fat and protein. But, okay, no longer about that now. It's not so important. For my purpose, I just want to focus on fat today, a very important part of our diet, and um, especially the so-called omega-3 fatty acids. It's a rare fat that is not in many plants in plenty, yeah, plentiful. So basically most of the nutrients are in all uh, uh, plants, but only in smallest amounts. So that's not enough. If you, you, if you only eat one fruit, you have to eat tons of it to get all the nutrients. That doesn't work. So you have to eat a variety of, of all the plants, of course. And some plants especially have very good amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, these special fats we need for muscles and nerves and brain. And it's very important for us. And chia seed is one of these. Chia seed, hemp seeds, flax seeds, yeah. the main ones for us. And walnuts also have omega-3 fatty acids. A handful of walnuts a day is cool, yeah, and you have enough. Or algae, some algae have that too. But that's basically it. I don't know, maybe there are others, but in these amounts, easy available, walnuts, flax seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and algae. So, uh, chia pudding is a very good thing for that purpose. It's a great breakfast. It keeps for some time if you make it in the right way. And I make it the classical form today. I just soak the chia seeds in a plant milk. <clears throat> so I show you the ratio a little bit. I make my own plant milk with cashews today. That is easy. Cashews are white nuts. Yeah. And the white nuts can just be blended with water without filtering. Nothing happens. Yeah. Macadamias you can take too. Uh, with, with walnuts, uh, with almonds, it would be a little bit more difficult because they have a brown uh, skin around the nut and that can scratch in the throat, made to filter it, but our coconut also, yeah, without the brown, you can um, make coconut milk, we have to filter it. Yeah. Uh, young coconuts have uh, soft flesh, you don't need to filter that, yeah, but that is expensive. <laughs> so, uh, uh, cashews is easy. I have here half a cup of cashews into the blender and I have some dates here you see that is um, this time I have one two three four five six seven or eight dates eight yeah these medium-sized dates not too big not too small I like a little bit more uh, sweetness today yeah? uh, because also of the flavor of the chia seeds they are said to have an almost neutral flavor so that's also why they are so nice for making a pudding, chia seed pudding, chia pudding, because they have a neutral flavor. They take the flavor of the milk, you soak it in, and then you put something onto the pudding what you like. Yeah? But they do have a flavor, yeah? and it tastes like this fat, this omega-3 fat, yes, has a special flavor. Yeah? And it doesn't, for example, I don't like it so much with, uh, with lemon. Yeah? When you put lemon into this milk now, some people to put a banana and lemon in there and then the lemon might make the chia seed taste bitter uh, that is not so nice and i want to avoid i tried that once and it was didn't work so i noticed oh there is a flavor to chia seeds and to get that flavor into the right uh you know um environment of the other flavors I use a lot of dates to make it sweet, it's nice for chia seed, and I have a savory flavor here, the very typical one, it's also often used in chia pudding, it's cardamom, 
This is a cardamom pod here. You see, cardamom the pods. And I open that. Uh, such a such a pot. I open that, and then inside are the, car the cardamom the cardamom um, seeds. I want to have. You see, I open it like this. Can you see? I open it. Oops, can you see? See, that's just inside of a cardamom pot. A little bit difficult with the camera. Uh, I get the seeds out here. So, here. And that's, I got this out of the cardamom pot. These are the seeds inside. There are different kinds of cardamom. But basically, cardamom is um, a very healthy spice. Spices, by the way, yeah, I want to mention it is important, uh, are the second healthiest food we have. First are dark leafy greens, healthiest at all. And then come spices and, and herbs, second healthiest. And third healthiest are fruit. So <laughs> veggies, green veggies, spices and herbs and fruit are best food. Healthiest food at least. Um, so I have a little cardamom here, and the cardamom spice in general is calming for the, uh, for the abdomen, yeah, for the stomach. Uh, if I have, for example, people like to drink coffee or tea in India or in Arabic countries or in Turkey or so, they put cardamom into the coffee or into the tea because um, of this uh, caffeine, the caffeine and the tea, that's, that has, a, it has an exciting um, effect and it, uh, to, to enjoy the coffee and still to have a calm stomach, they use caramel. It, it's a wonderful uh, f fragrance. I put it here into the mortar. One caramel pot is enough. I, um, I grind it a little bit here. It's a very good thing to have a mortar because the spices I can. I also have spices already ground. Yeah, um, it's also good. But if you have it fresh, the spices have more flavor usually. <coughs> you ground it yourself. <coughs> they hold keep longer in these pots. Keep longer than when you have it and you have it um, already ground. Also, it tastes if you if you have it ground already, it tastes a little bit sharper. More bitter, the fresh cardamom. Put it right into the right into the, the blender. The fresh cardamom is tastes better. Yeah, has a nicer, fuller flavor to me. I like the, the fresh cardamom better. But if you have just ground cardamom, that's that's totally fine. You can take that too. So now is everything in here. It's a cashew nut, a date, and cardamom, and water to make the milk. I take oil, so I don't, how much do I need? A cup or so, I mean that's a cup, I think it's a cup, well, okay, cup, one cup, about. That's a nice thing to have a cashew nut milk because it's so easy to blend. You just blend it a little bit longer to get it a little bit warmer and it's nice for the chia seed to soak. And then you have milk. Yeah, it looks nice. I will taste it to check if it really has the sweetness and the flavor with the cardamom I like. Mm. You know, actually I could put a little bit more cardamom into it. I take a second pot. A second pot. Um, because with the sugar, yeah, cardamom is very special. It's like a pepper a little bit. It's a strong flavor. 
um, not really like pepper, but it is also, it reminds me a little bit of pepper. It's different, it's more full, it's a fuller, fuller aroma. But, um, but with, the, with the sugar and the dates, and the dates and the cashews, and that is really a very nice flavor, I can take a little bit more. So one more, the second pot here, quickly ground it. I need some, i show you in a moment what it looks like. It needs to become light. Yeah, the brown cardamom, when it's, it's done, if, it's, if it turns a little bit light, <clears throat> light gray color, then it's done. It takes some time to brown it really nicely. I'll show you in a moment. Yeah, now we go there. Do we get there? Yes. That's what it has to look like. That's what it looks like here. Can you see that? The cardamom is ground. Get it out of the mortar into my cashew milk. It's a nice creamy milk now. So uh, one cup of cashews and um, Half cup of one cup of water and a half cup of cashews, eight nine dates. That's very nice. It's creamy. I show you in a moment. So blending a little bit longer in this case is also helps because because. Um, when the milk is a little bit warmer, yeah, nice, then uh, the chia the seeds soak faster. I'll show you in a moment. First, I check the flavor again. Yeah, now the caramel is there. You can do a little bit more, it's really, caramel is nice, so, but that's enough for now. So, what I do now, I have here my mixing glass. The shaker and I put the, uh, the milk in there I think you can you see what your milk looks like it's about a cup a little bit more maybe yeah, with the cashews and so you see how creamy it is yummy cashew cream mmm and then I put the chia seeds on top here, chia seed. These are four tablespoons and four heaping tablespoons because that's the ratio I would recommend. One cup of milk, a little bit more, and four heaping uh, tablespoons of chia seeds. Yeah, this is a common measurement you find it everywhere online. You make a chia pudding, I think they say one cup and four tea tablespoons. But yeah, you find out if you want to know that better. So, uh, what I do now, I put the chia seeds into the milk and let them soak. And then what happens is the chia seeds, they are little balls, they get thicker, they soak, and they gel up. There's a gel in the chia seeds, and this gel is very healthy too. It's not only rich in minerals, it's also, the chia seed, it's also, um, this gel also helps the body to eliminate heavy metals. And it's a very dangerous toxin for the body. Heavy metals are very bad for the inner organs. Yeah, and oftentimes the body holds on to them yeah, and that's not good and the body gets destroyed and the DNA suffers from the, from the heavy metals. So we get rid of the heavy metals and heavy metals are in environments where there's, where there's a pollution and, um, and so on. Then you have a lot of heavy metals in the food, in the air and in the body and you want to get rid of them all the time. And chia seeds or greens too, especially parsley and cilantro, these kind of foods, get rid of them, make it easier for the body. You need the, help, the body needs a little bit of help. Yeah? And the chia seeds are one of them, the gel. Everything that makes gel, every plant, this gel takes the heavy metal and gets it out of the body. So I put now a lid on top and we'll shake it. 
make sure it is, it is closed. That's important. And then you see what happens here. The chia seeds are overall everywhere. It's a chia seed. And they need 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so until they are soaked. And then you can eat it and enjoy. I show you what I did. <laughs> Ahead of time, I made this little glass with the same chia seeds. And you see what happens here. It's already pudding, you see. Almost, it's not, not totally firm, it's still a little bit runny, but it's almost firm. Firm enough, you see the, the balls are now a little bigger here. And you can also soak the chia seeds overnight. You can put it even in the refrigerator. I could put this in the refrigerator overnight, and the balls get really big. That's beautiful. <laughs> and um, then you also have a nice pudding, <clears throat> but you can also do it in 10 or 15 minutes right now. That would be enough, I would say. And um, i show you what I do with it on top. You could eat it right away. This is delicious, delicious pudding, but it, you can also refine a little bit and put something on top. Like what I do now, I show you blueberry jam. Yeah, here are uh, frozen blueberries, they have been thawed. This is a metal container, the hot water all below and a lid on top makes these melt or uh, thaw in 15 minutes or so. It's very simple. And then uh, you have uh, date mousse here, how to make date mousse, I show you in another video date mousse, linked under this video. It's just blending dates with a little bit of water. Then you can store the date mousse in the refrigerator for a week or so. Put the date mousse on top of the blueberries. It's a perfect flavor for blueberries. Sweetness, yeah, they love it. And also perfect for blueberries, I have a half lemon here, juiced lemon juice, that goes so nicely as a, a little bit of compliment for, complimentary for uh, the date the dates and also for um, the blueberries. Blueberries love lemon, flavor very, very nice together and uh, so that's a perfect combination to make a jam just combining dates, uh, um, date mousse with blueberries and lemon juice. You have a perfect jam. Uh, you can mash the blueberries, you can leave them whole. I, I leave it whole a little bit here. Some get mashed, that doesn't really matter. Um, I, um, combine everything evenly so it gets a little bit um, creamier, the date mousse make that and you know I like the frozen berries not only because they are inexpensive and still have a high nutrition because they are, they are also, uh, they, when you thaw them um, like I did here, they release a juice same with the raspberries and other berries, they release a juice when they are frozen and that juice is so nice, yeah? Putting date mousse on top of it, for example. And when you have fresh berries, uh, this juicing takes a lot of more time. It happens, also happens when you put date or sugar on the, on the berries. I don't use sugar anymore. Uh, date mousse. Then the, they also release a little bit juice. But here, when they are frozen, that is much faster, as you see here. This is my blueberry jam. See? Isn't that nice? And that's a perfect topping for my chia pudding. That's on top. Also, cardamom is a perfect spice also for the blueberries. Now, it goes all so nice together here. It's a wonderful recipe. I'm looking forward to enjoying that. Would you like this one? It's the best breakfast in the world. And you can also use it as a dessert. In many Asian restaurants, they have a typical um, dessert with chia pudding and different toppings. They usually make it with coconut milk. That's in Asia, very common. Coconut milk is perfect, or other, any, any plant milk you can use. Uh, and then can, you can season the chia pudding a little bit. That is nice. And put anything on top of what you like. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video also. You like it maybe like it <laughs> subscribe mdv on youtube have another recipe every single day and find me on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter